This Here time. comes Rossi up the inside for the first time. Rossi takes the lead at the Melbourne hairpin. And can Alex Barros get back at him immediately? He can't. I think Valentino Rossi is worried about Kenny Roberts behind him. And Rossi leads as they come into Goddard. And they come across the line. There'll be seven laps to go. But Valentino Rossi now leads the race. Alex Barros second. Kenny Roberts third. And Colin Edwards in fourth place. But Rossi, without a doubt, is on the charge. That, yeah, the, that last lap when he passed uh, Alex Barros for the lead was the fastest lap of the race so far. 47.622. Absolutely no doubts whatsoever that this is going to be another 147 from Rossi. The way he's just left these boys behind now, it's time to go. Thanks for the fun, lads. See you later. Another, oh, at this time it's a 146.122 wow. from Valentino Rossi. Absolutely smashes the fastest lap of this race so far, and these guys can do nothing about it. Rossi's decided to go wet, dry, sandy, warm, cold. Even in the snow, you'd fancy him to win a Grand Prix race, wouldn't you? Certainly would. Seems he can ride in any conditions as any true world champion has to show. And Rossi has shown it time and time again. And Rossi now leading this race by what? 3.291 seconds within the space of one and a half laps. He's absolutely pulverized the uh, gap between himself and Alex Barros. Well, the performance of a master, we say it every week, but he's got to say in these conditions to lap as fast as he is now is incredible. And also, as you said, Matt, uh, he learns by his mistakes. He had a few big slides early on. We've seen that before. He realizes where it happens, why it happens. He analyzes it in his brain. And there we go. He is absolutely running on rails in these conditions. Just Goddard Bend remains for Valentino Rossi. His seventh win here at Donington Park. Valentino Rossi looks behind him. Nobody in sight, soaking wet, stands up and says, Thank you very much indeed. But what a performance from a chilly Valentino Rossi. 200 miles an hour down here. Rossi now lining up Capo Rossi, but Capo Rossi, Ducati, just too fast for the Hondas. They break for the right-hander. Here comes Rossi once again, but Melandri leads away from Bayless. Zipper now, Nicky Hayden as Rossi got through. He has. Rossi has got past Loris Capo Rossi. We always get good racing at Phillip Island. This is fantastic. Hayden leads, Rossi second, Melandri third. The fastest man on the uh, circuit, as I was saying, Olivier Jacques in seventh place. A real group at the front. Here comes Rossi. He's had enough of this battling now around with these rookies with Hayden and Melandri. Rossi in control. Rossi leads the way as they come into the fast left. Third gear, fourth gear, down the straight. 200 miles an hour. Valentino Rossi chasing his eighth Grand Prix victory of the season. Leads the way. Max Piaggi has had problems. Troy Bayliss has crashed out of the race. What a start to the ultimate round of the championship, but it's now got a familiar feel to it. Time penalty for Valentino Rossi. Absolutely on the ball there for Gavin down in pit lane. Rossi has obviously overtaken Marco Melandri when the yellow flags were being shown for the crash of Troy Bayliss. Rossi has a time penalty. This race is far from over. Rossi with a 131.593 on that lap. Capri Rossi with a 132.440. The gap stands at 7.5 seconds. So uh, Valentino Rossi takes almost a second off Capri Rossi there on that lap. He's lapping under previous pole records here at the Phillip Island circuit. It's a sensational performance. Right, this is the long left-hander that brings us back into the start and finish straight. I'll bet my house on the fact that Valentino Rossi is winning this race. He certainly is. He's winning it by 0.392 seconds. His lead over Laris, over Loris Capirossi, 10.392. The 10 second penalty knocked off. That means Rossi is just in the lead and he's still going quicker than Capirossi. Hayden in third place, Chibinau in fourth place. No way through there for Sade Chibinau. Valentino Rossi has won the Australian Grand Prix here at Phillip Island. Well, how many more times have we got to say it? This man without a shadow of a doubt the greatest motorcycle racer in the world at the moment. Perhaps the greatest motorcycle racer of all time. You can bring as many riders in as you like from World Superbike or anywhere else. 250 World Champions, World Superbike Champions. It's the same story as it has been for the last three or four seasons. Valentino Rossi and Max Biaggi, absolute supreme performers. And here they are riding on the very, very edge. So we ride with Rossi, Biaggi right behind him. Five and a half laps to come. They come onto the back straight now. Here comes Biaggi on the brakes. Has he got up the inside of Rossi? He has. Max Biaggi takes the lead. Biaggi trying to make the break with four laps to go. Up the hill through turns two and three before they're going to break for the right-hander. Turn four into the Dunlop curve. Biaggi still leads the way. Rossi right behind him. This is going to go all the way to the chequered flag. 
right, two and a half laps to go. Something's got to give. Piaggi leads the way, but Rossi is very, very close indeed. They come onto the back straight. Is Rossi close enough to try and outbreak him from sixth gear down into fourth, down into third? No, he's not. Piaggi just holds firm. Rossi very, very close indeed. Piaggi runs it wide an inch. Rossi will be through, but there's no way through at the moment for the Yamaha rider. It tightens up. Rossi goes through. There was an inch, and Rossi's done it, and there's nothing Piaggi can do about it. They break for the left-hander. Rossi just a little bit out of shape, but somehow he hangs on to the Yamaha. They come back into the start and finish area. Two laps to go. But we're coming into these right-handers any moment now. We go left and right, and then into the right. This is crucial. I don't think Viaggi is close enough. I think Rossi can get here through here successfully and quick. He is going to cause a sensation by winning the race. They're on the back straight for the last time. 160 miles an hour before they break for the fourth gear right-hander. Rossi is going to do it. The 25-year-old Italian is going to write another chapter into the MotoGP history books. Can you believe it? Rossi is going to win the Africa's Grand Prix here at Melbourne, riding a Yamaha. Biaggi closes. He's not close enough. One bend to go for the world champion. Rossi is going to do it. The chequered flag beckons the doctor. The chequered flag is shown. Valentino Rossi wins the Africa's Grand Prix from Yamaha and from Max Biaggi. Sete Gibinau takes an excellent third place on the Honda, but you have just seen history in the making. The first man ever to win consecutive races on different machinery, and he can hardly believe it. And I tell you what, Nick, it almost looks as though he may be in I tears there. I think he may be in tears. I, I really do think, in fact, this is no ruse, this is no joke. I just don't think he can believe what he has done. It's closing up at the front, and that's what we want to see. We ride with Valentino Rossi right behind him, Casey Stoner on the Ducati. In front of him, Jorge Lorenzo. Brilliant onboard stuff, but it's going to get very interesting in there about four or five laps time. Stoner once again closes up on Rossi, but Rossi is really, right. really good here. Let's see if he's going to try and take Lorenzo at turn one. I bet he is. He's got to. I'm sure he will, because he looks a lot stronger at the end. Uh, on the brakes and he does he goes through Valentino Rossi just flicks down a couple of gears and through he goes so Rossi now leads he's taking the fight to his uh, teammates and rival Jorge Lorenzo Casey Stone of the championship leader in third well the GP and it's very very best in front of a big excited passionate crowd it really does make you tingle I've got to be honest with it one more incredible lap left They've been saying in the papers, we haven't had an overtaking manoeuvre on the final lap in MotoGP since 2006. Enzo, give us one of those moments now. Here he comes down the straight. Jorge Lorenzo's going to go through. And he's gone through a Valentino Rossi. Is he going to take the lead? He does. He made it stick this time round. Rossi trying to go around the outside, then on the inside of the right-hander. Rossi almost through. Lorenzo slams the door in his face. Oh, and Lorenzo's taking this on, and he's pushing Valentino Rossi to the absolute limit. Oh, look at him hanging off the bike through turn three. They head down to turn four. Here, Here comes Rossi. Rossi up the inside. Rossi retakes the lead. Run. Valentino Rossi, but no, he's lost it again. Lorenzo leads the way. Rossi ran it a little bit wide in turn four. Has he got the line? No, it's coming to turn five. He's going to try. Lorenzo very, very tight as they plunge downhill into this left-hander. Now then, Rossi's surely going to make a move again. The lead has swapped twice on the three times on this very last lap. Half a lap to go here in Barcelona. Rossi very, very close indeed. Is he going to make the move? Certainly he's going to get onto that back straight. This is where it's going to happen. But Lorenzo's carried a lot of speed out of turn nine. And there's no way through there. Valentino Rossi. And Lorenzo pushing it so, so hard in there. And Lorenzo's going to hang on to it. He said to me before this weekend, if you go into these corners first, you know you're going to win the race. Can Rossi invent <laughs> something though? Can he do it? Two more corners to go after this one. They're at the top of the hill, 12 and 13 to go. Lorenzo still leads the way. Rossi very, very close indeed. We ride with Valentino Rossi. Lorenzo now into turn 13. And Rossi's invented something in the final corner, but Lorenzo gets close to the back, and Rossi has beaten him. What, what a motorcycle race. What a roll three. Just fabulous stuff. I tell you what, that's one of the best head-to-head -head motorcycle races I have ever seen. See him attack straight away. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Rossi goes through and pushes Stone away. Casey won't like that one bit. That Tries to take the pace, doesn't he? Had a bit more drive coming out of that corner, but Rossi stood strong. Stoner in second position once more. Round the outside. 
going up the Rahal straight. Unbelievable stuff from Casey Stoner. And Rossi comes straight back at the corkscrew. We haven't seen action like oh. this as Rossi runs off track and pushes Stoner wide. What amazing stuff here. Valentino Rossi and Casey Stoner duking out there, doing so in the championship. And Stoner almost tries to go around the outside at turn 10. This is unbelievable. Casey Stoner does make a move on the front straight, as we said. Rossi's going to try and get straight back underneath it. And Stoner's going to keep the bike stuck in there, isn't he? But Rossi sticks it right up underneath him straight away. Here we go. Here's Casey back straight back underneath him. He's strong in this sense. Great second. stuff in turn three. Stoner goes through, but Rossi's hanging oh, the bike around the outside. Unbelievable. That was that was a really great, great ride from Rossi right there. Brave, yeah. brave stuff from these two at the front in MotoGP here at Laguna Seca into turn five, where we know Rossi is strong. Where we've seen yet another attempt to move from Stoner, but Rossi just stuck it back in front of him and really hung in there bravely, didn't he? Around the outside. Everson made the move one time, and knows how to get past him, he's able to stay in front of him. He needs to make himself as wide as possible. A couple of different lines as well, going through turn 10, and then... Sorry, through turn 9, and then down into turn 10. And lining up the last corner oh. of the circuit. Oh, oh Stoner, Stoner I, runs in he's wide. off. He's going to run it wide, not That's to the it, gravel. That could be the end of the race. He's, he's gone down. down! Casey Stoner has gone down well! Stoner in second position has gone down. Still running. Is he going to be able to? He's in second position still, of course. Still running, but he's going to lose so, so much time now. That is the end of the American Grand Prix. Valentino Rossi is surely going to win this one. And Rossi, you have to say, has ridden an absolutely inch-perfect race. And now we go back to the five-time MotoGP World Champion, leading the World Championship with this victory. His first at Laguna Seca. He will extend his lead to 25 points, the Yamaha Gary saying, just calm down, just bring it home safe. Time to look around as he comes into turn 11. The team are on the wall as well. Valentino Rossi will take victory in the United States Grand Prix. A big old wheelie as he crosses the line. A brilliant, brilliant performance from the past master, Valentino Rossi. You can see how much he loves that one.